then asking questions because you're going there because you've got a question. If you didn't have a question or you weren't worried about something, you'd be playing footy or at the library or something like that. Write down your questions. You can write down, I have a lump on my thigh. It hurts me at night time. Um, is it cancer? Um, and then you, your doctor doesn't have to see that list, but that can be your, your list. But making sure that you've got an idea of what your questions are beforehand. We're trained as doctors. Part of our training, even from when we're medical students, young medical students, is that we're trained to kind of tease out something. So someone will come in with something like a pain in their ear, but they might really actually be more worried about the pain in their thighs. So the doctor's meant to kind of help you a little bit. We're kind of prepared that there might be something that you're a little bit embarrassed about or a little bit worried about that you're not telling us at the outset. But um, if your doctor's not cottoned on, just give them a little nudge and say, actually, you know. And one of the really important things is that we know that GPs are incredibly busy. They're trying to cram in as many people who need to see them in one day. Um, and so it's kind of okay to butter the GP up for the first 15 minutes about the pain in your ear and getting to know the GP. But make sure you leave yourself plenty of time at the end of the consultation to talk about the pain in the thigh or, or the bruising or, or whatever it is that, that's bringing you in.